Right, back on the River X. Um, I last came down here, I think it's three weeks. I keep looking down there because um, I can't see an obvious mayfly hatch. There's obviously some, uh, there is a decent hatch going on and there's some trout which are rising. And when they rise, it's like kids throwing stones in the river. They are really throwing themselves into this trout. Anyway, so I was last down here about three weeks ago, I think it was, and there was a mayfly hatch going on. And like before, I couldn't get uh, any look whatsoever. I managed, uh, I think it was two, three rises, I can't quite remember, nothing to the net. Um, it, was, it was a blowout. Um, so I'm back again to try. But my experience seems to have been mirrored by some of you guys, but also um, other members of my club as well. We all seem to be struggling with the mayfly um, hatch this year. Um, it is just like kids throwing stones. It's happening out the stream. Um, and so, yeah, we just can't seem to get handled this year on a mayfly hatch. Um, maybe is that because it's been weird weather? Um, it was cold, um, it's been wet. Um, yeah, we haven't really had a spring to talk of. Um, last, the weekend just gone, so it's Monday. Um, what is the date? All right, so it's Monday the 13th, uh, June today. Um, I was going to come uh, yesterday, um, but just the wind and the weather just didn't really... Uh, it wasn't ideal weather, so I didn't bother coming. It wasn't going to be any fun. And that just seems to have been the problem. Um, the weather's been shit. Um, but this is a beautiful evening. This is absolutely stunning. Um, I think it's about quarter past seven, something like that. This is perfect. So, Rod's ready on the floor down there. Um, change your kit. I now sport a very expensive chest pack. Say very expensive, off AliExpress. I think it's about seven pounds. <laughs> but my shoulder bag uh, was getting too heavy because of my camera gear. Um, because obviously I now have the drone as well as the GoPro and also have the um, camcorder, which that tripod is currently here. Yeah, too much camera gear uh, in the shoulder bag and it was just flapping around. So now I have a rucksack. Ah. There you go, you'll see that on the camera anyway. Um, yeah, rucksack and a chest pack. And this is fantastic. Because it's small, it means I have to limit how much gear I bring, which means I don't have unnecessary crap in my chest pack. Right, let's get fishing. I'm ready. I'm kitted up. Hopefully the sound's going to be okay. I think I heard, did hear a trap rising here. I don't know why it'd be in there. It must be something to fall off a tree. There's no flow in that water at all. I can't see anything shooting out. Very bizarre. Right. All right, hopefully my little uh, flying friend's gonna stay there. And well, hopefully it will do. Yeah, we record our every move. Oh, actually. Put you in uh, easy reach. Oh, car keys. Great, I thought we were ready. Not quite. I'm not having my car keys in that pocket. Right now we're ready. Slowly, slowly go down here. Oh, 
on a drift too far down here. This weed is pretty new. I may recall it being here, but it might have been. Oh, you're too loose. Step through it. I don't think I've had my shredded wheat, I was struggling to go forward then. Oh, come on, come on, come on, get your casting sorted. It's because I'm aware of that tree, stupidly aware. If it's too long, I'm struggling to get energy down the line. Okay, I thought I might have seen a rise by now, even with my bad casting. I would have thought it'd be along that line. So there's uh, two bubble lines. And I'm not using an Alcare Cavis, but I am using an upwing dry fly, which I've got quite a bit of confidence in actually. I found it in a different fly box. Know this trout lying here. I hope it's not going to be like last time. It's a good old hatch going on. I know I'm saying that. Oh yeah, there is a rise up there. Okay, so it's the first time one in the water. I've had a rise in front of me. My balance, I'm losing my balance. No, Come on.
He's really trying to get into that weed. Really trying to get into that weed. Oh, wow, thank you very much. You are absolute beauty. Oh, keep the control right of the water. What an absolute beauty. Oh, there we go. Quick release. Oh, I intended to do it. Oh, well, should I go home now? Or I'm on a high. Oh, shattered. It's only 10 to 9. I think I've been down there two, two and a half hours. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I feel worn out. And it's hard work as well. I managed one. One. There's a, obviously there's a few grayling which are rising just where I'm walking past now. Just there. And then upstream. I had a few little little trout but nothing of any size rising a few little trout rising but only one to the net again oh and then the nice surprise of my line just coming into two pieces as if i cut it with scissors really bizarre a few reasons why that could have happened one could be because it's a cheap line because it's a max catch however i am going to buy exactly the same line again 15 quid why wouldn't i or 12 quid whatever it is um, but it could also have broken because I am pretty rough on it when I put it onto my reel. And also, let's do a spin now, just good timing. You'll see there, right there, there you go, all those stones. Um, quite often I get my line caught underneath those stones and instead of being good, I just yank on it. <laughs> um, so yeah, but... Oh, tough, but at least I've got one, which is one more than last time. Um, and it was a decent sized one as well. Didn't get a proper look at it because I threw it back, didn't I? But anyway, so, job done. Thank you for watching. Oh, I'm gonna go home and get some tea. I'm starving. So, thanks for watching. And hopefully the next one's gonna be a bit more productive. Cheers, tight lines.